Hey guys, Hacks here, and today is I'm going to be showing you guys how to apply a font to or install a font for paint.net. Uh, if you don't know how to do this, it's actually really simple. Um, so let's get right into it. And sorry if I do sound kind of nasally, I am sick and uh, I've just been stuffy for a while. So just hope it gets better soon. Uh, so what you want to do first is you want to go over to your, your your browser. Me, it's Google. You just want to type in. Uh, just I'm gonna go to my Google, and uh, I'm just gonna type in fonts, and uh, I'll go to 1001 fonts, free fonts, baby, or whatever. So one of what or 1001fonts.com, and. Uh, we have our fonts here. Uh, I'm going to be downloading the Simpsons font just because it, it looks pretty cool. So I'm just gonna be downloading the Simpsons font. Download. That's all you have to do. It downloads the .zip file. Once it downloads, uh, you want to go ahead and drag it to your desktop, and uh, you just want to extract the files extract all you don't need to win or anything uh, just as long as it's a dot zip file with something else in yeah then you, you you'll get the the normal file then you just open that grab the the tf or ttf file go ahead and uh double right or double left right left click and hit install and then it's installing all right, make sure that you don't have your application open or you'll have to just restart it. So we're going to go and open paint.net real quick. <laughs> and then we're going to go over to the text and we're going to scroll down and till we find I know it started with an M. Uh, we'll find it eventually. I uh, guess the, there it is. Wait, is this it? Methana Rapture. I believe so. So, once it has been downloaded, you can just automatically just go and start using it. Um, hold up. What is it called? Methana Rapture, yeah. Or Mentha Rapture. So, yeah. What does caps look like? Yes. So, it doesn't really have too much... So, uh, I don't really think it looks, oh, so I downloaded, <laughs> I downloaded the wrong one, so let's just go ahead and download the right one real quick and close out of our paint real quick. Uh, so, I'll, I'll, I, I didn't think that looked like The Simpsons, so I'm like, what, that doesn't look right. But, we just go ahead and close out of paint.net that decides not to respond. Uh... Oh dear, so it has downloaded Simpsons font dot zip. You just go ahead and drag that to your file. I don't think you have to extract it, but just to be on the safe side, go ahead and extract it. And then you can go ahead and close out of your browser. Alright. And once this decides to load because I'm on a potato. You just right click extract all extract and then it's just gonna extract it and then you just go ahead and double click on the font and go ahead and click install and then once it installs you can go ahead and close out of that and your folder and you can delete all of these if you wanted to it does not matter then we just go ahead and enter paint real quick and yes I know my desktop is a mess I need to clean it uh, <laughs> Um, once it opens the, so I'm just going to go ahead and delete these since, never mind. Um, so we go to text, and then we just go until we find, uh, the Simpsons font. I'll have to look at that later, so, there it is. So we see that we have Simpsons. Pretty lit. So, 
yeah guys that's how you uh download and install uh fonts for paint.net if you have any questions go ahead and ask me uh i might do one for photoshop as well uh but i'm still not all too used to photoshop yet but i'm pretty sure it has the same concept uh or something at least similar if it doesn't then uh i'm just gonna have to do my research oh excuse me um but yeah i hope you guys have enjoyed and if you have then please leave a like and subscribe as it does let me know that you do enjoy this content and it lets me know that you uh or it helps me grow which is a big part of youtube you want to grow but <laughs> yeah i'm i'm sorry that i'm sick guys uh i'm trying to get better if i can uh, I should hopefully be able to get better in the next few days. So, during, in the next video, I should be sounding a little bit better. But, other than that, I hope you guys have enjoyed. And, uh, I'll see y'all later. Bye-bye.